What's going on folks? Friggin' Donnie Pelletier out here to the actual Sunday River, right there. Coming down to try to catch a couple uh, largemouth, and I've just been skipping rocks. But uh, you can see that boulder right there is pretty large, and they say back in, I don't know, 1700s or something, they say that thing came right down out of space and just cleared out the trees right down Agony, wicked hard, and that's kind of where they got the idea to build a mountain. They're like, well, geez, that trail's already built, so might as well do it. You know, we're up here at friggin' Sunday River, just be doing the stuff you need to do to get the mountain operating in the friggin' uh, fall time come snowmaking season, so we're getting close. I'm down here at the snowmaking pond where they pump out like 10,000 gallons per minute up onto the mountain to run your friggin' whalebacks on friggin' Dreammaker or whatever. But what I'm really interested in finding out is with the friggin' largemouth and the pickerel are at in this thing. I freaking hooked onto one earlier and there's a real cocker. I yanked it right out of my freaking hands. So I lost a rod, but. Going the wrong way. No, oh, that ain't big enough. Well, I've been telling them for years, you know, you guys, you gotta up the snowmaking capacity. I'm trying to bury back a lift with snow. I mean, and they've been, you know, I've been telling them for years and years. Then this year, finally, they got a, we got a beaver to come over from the pond, chew a couple wires, and friggin' torch the place. So they kind of had no choice but to upgrade the uh, snowmaking system. So it's going to be a 10% increase this year, thanks to me. I'm here to pick up my truck. What are you guys out to lunch? Well, at least, well, did you get me a sandwich at least? Or what? Yeah, you want to eat in the truck? Yeah, all right, I'll go grab it. Jeez, I'm crow, dude. You drive that thing any friggin' slower? I mean, lean back on it and give her the friggin' beans. You're on the clock, so am I. I ain't got time for that. Sorry, Donnie. No, I ain't big enough either. Yeah, this is some of the fleet we got. They got the 06s in earlier over there. This is more my speed. It's the 2000. A bit more of a reliable machine right here. But, you know, I'm a do guy, so. Yeah, one of the nice things about working in the shops, you can bring in the 350 anytime you need. You know, this is my track. Uh, I customized it out a little bit, installed the new seat in there, and uh, get the doors open for ventilation. And uh, that way, when you Jeep in, you get it mired, you can just hop right out, no need for doors, so. Where's all my tools? Hey guys, we gotta get this going. I'm, I think they're about to fire up the guns like this afternoon, so the clock's ticking on this project. What the frig? Somebody took my friggin' Italian and all my moxie out of here. Gonna be held to bay. I can just get my KX250 and tie it to the back fender. I'll dump the clutch second gear. 251, you get a copy. I was just down at the snowmaking pond. Them guys are ready to pump it up to white heat. I brought my skis, let's fire it up. Dude, you gotta turn the heat up on that friggin' weld. That them friggin' welds looking pretty cold. This here's the BB600. It's uh, you know, one of the nicer friggin' kitties we got at the river and we got the friggin' uh, winch on it here. So when you're on a trail steep as white heat, you know, it's pretty much overhanging right on top of you. So you need that thing to haul you up at. Otherwise, you know, you'd slip down and it wouldn't go as fast as I ski down it, but it'd go pretty quick. Oh, that's a good skip right there. Yeah, they ain't turning the lifts yet. So someone's gonna have to get me the old 850 duo out here and freaking drive me up and I'll take the first run. This thing's got a Mercedes-Benz motor in it, which, you know, means it's pretty fancy and friggin' European or whatever. I'm a Ford guy myself, but it gets the job done. Let's get this project going. I'm trying to ski this afternoon, dude. Hey, dude, I got a bone to pick with you. How's it going? Yeah, well, last time I friggin' ordered some plugs from you guys online for my snow machine, they were the wrong size. Yeah. And, and uh, also, I need a new hat. Okay. So if oh. you could get that sent over I right away. I can some stuff right up for you. Well, I appreciate that. Dude, I'm over here. Freaking come pick me up. I'm about to boat up. Alright, you strap in. I'll get the last minute. Stand by. Yep, copy that. And by the way, someone freaking stole my Italian and Moxie's out of the fridge here in the freaking shop. So if you find them, let me know. You 
don't got time to be waiting around hauling freaking cables across the freaking hill. Sometimes, you know, the guys just don't know what they're doing, so you just gotta do it yourself. Bye. Make sure them plugs are the right size this time because I don't want to blow up my rig. Will do. Yeah. Yep, here in the Snowflake factory, this is one of our scent hats. We got hundreds of them. They blast like 14 million pounds of pressure with snow every second or something like that on white heat or wherever you want it. We can direct it over to Jordan Bowl on friggin' Lopsa Lopsa or Wallapalooza or whatever it is, or you can send it down white heat. It don't matter. But this is when you come up to the mountain, you see them mounds. The snow like overhead huge that's what this comes from you know and, that, and I love them things because I hit them things and I land over to Southridge so I really hum that one 10% more snow making so I don't know it's pretty much the whole mountain's going to be buried I don't even know if you're going to be able to find it but I've got to choke it Friggin' Napa guy, he didn't deliver my right plugs. She's a little friggin' running too rich, but. Donnie, get to work! Jesus! Lay off me, guy, I've been out since friggin' 3 a.m. welding out there. <laughs> <laughs>